Hi there. Hi. Do you want to help me count some cards? Yeah. Okay, so um, I have a deck of cards. You know there's normally 52? Yeah. Um, what I've done is I've taken some out. Now, you could just count all these cards, but if you imagine I had thousands of cards, you wouldn't want to sift through all of them. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some statistics to try and estimate how many cards there are here without taking them all. So what I want you to do is draw seven cards from the top, just at random, and put them face up, and I'll start writing them down. So How many cards are there definitely in the pile? 14. Good. But we haven't really learned very much, have we? No. So at the moment, you know there's 14, but there was clearly more than 14. So what we're doing is something called a capture recapture study. So we're going to now go and capture the cards again, take another sample from the exact same set of cards. There were definitely 12, oh, sorry, there were definitely 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some new cards, so there's yeah. more than 14, but we've also seen some twice. So can you help me find which ones we've seen twice? Seven of hearts. So there's a seven of hearts there and a seven of hearts there. Three, three of clubs. Three of clubs, there's a three of clubs there. Where is it over here? There it is. We saw quite a few of them. So, we saw 14 in our first capture, and we saw 14 in our second capture, the recapture, some of which were in common, mm -hmm. and there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in common. Yeah. So, we can combine these three numbers to give us an estimate of how many there are in total. Mm -hmm. And we do that by times in 14 by 14. And then dividing it by 7. And dividing it by 7. Twenty. 28. Now, I told you I took some cards out. Yeah. Yeah. I have taken 5 out. Yeah. So, how many does that mean there should? There are in the pile. 47. There's 47. So the true number is 47, and our estimate is 28. Now, it's not exactly right, but we don't expect it to be right. Mm -hmm. But we've achieved that by not having to count everyone. So if we were to do this with thousands of items, it would be much more efficient to do this kind of capture and capture than go and count everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, we've done this with playing cards, but you can do this with animals. So you know, when you have birds and you put the metal rings around their legs and you let them go and then you capture them again. So you can use this to estimate the size of populations of wildlife. We actually also do this with people. So have you heard of the census we do in the UK? Yeah. So we do it every 10 years uh, just to take a account of the entire population of the UK. Mm -hmm. um, so we use a capture-recapture study just to check that we've got most of the population included in the census. Thank you for taking part. Have a dance. Thank you.